When people see Lake Powell in the news or they see Antelope Canyon, there is hundreds of hundreds of miles around this area that are unexplored and have untold opportunities for recreation. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Lake Powell Page Series. We are here in front of Lake Powell Paddle Boards and Kayaks. We're going to have a great discussion with the owner, Max, but it's been a great few days here. It's been fantastic. I mean, we've already met several people. We've seen, actually, we've kind of explored the town and around Page, and, and I've learned a lot, and we're going to share all this with you guys. I mean, there's businesses, there's fun, there's a lot to do in Page. And I hope you're enjoying what you've been seeing. Well, and today, after we do this, we get to run to the Vermilion Cliffs, very iconic site out here in northern Arizona, southern Utah. I can't wait to see that. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have all these wonderful places that we share, and we want you to see it all. We were even shaking hands this morning with some people from Canada and a local that works on the dam, right? Yes, it's, it's been fantastic. So let's get inside and talk to Max. How about that? Great, let's do it. When people see Lake Powell in the news or they see Antelope Canyon, there is hundreds of hundreds of miles around this area that are unexplored and have untold opportunities for recreation. My name is Max Lapikas. I came here with my father 11 years ago and he had an idea that he wanted to start a business here with his wife. After paddling at Antelope Canyon, he thought it was so amazing that there needed to be a stand-up paddleboard store here. So he had the brain idea to start one. I guess fast forward, I was starting my career with the government and I didn't really like where that was going so I wanted to make a change and that change just happened when my father wanted to retire so he gave us the opportunity to come work here which we did for five years. Ended up really liking it and ended up purchasing the business from him this past year. Favorite part is interacting with customers, getting out on the water, and my office being the lake. Season's open from March 1st until usually November 1st. Sometimes we extend that season into November, but always closed by Thanksgiving. The best time is early in the morning in the summer, or it would be, you know, from nine to 11 in the spring and fall. And then the afternoons, the sunset is just beautiful here. Midday is good for the hiking, uh, but out on the lake, sunset, sunrise is unreal. With the water levels going down, we've gotten to experience more of a hike. We've gotten to experience taller walls in the canyon, different colors coming out of the walls, alcoves in the sandstone. So just new features coming out. Luckily, with my background, I've been a kayak instructor for quite a while. I was actually a kayak guide 12 years ago. That's what I started doing these outdoor jobs in. So I'm able to certify all of our guides. We do that in-house. Um, they're all American Canoe Association level one or two certified. Some are instructors. When they come in and rent, they can expect a great time on the lake, great friendly service, professional tour guide business, and just an overall good time. We also sell paddle boards, kayaks, accessories, all of that stuff. I think people should choose us or just Lake Powell in general because there's so many things to do. So coming here, you get to experience something like Moab where it's got all the multi-sport adventures, but there's gonna be a fraction of the people. Um, it's still amazing trails, amazing you know, water activities, hiking, all of that. You can find us on Instagram, uh, website, lakepowellpaddleboards.com. There's still plenty of water in Lake Powell, so come visit Paige, come visit the lake, and we'll see you down the road. <laughs>
Well, good morning, boys. What a great run through that canyon. We're headed over to Vermilion Cliffs, and boys, what are we doing today? We're riding motorcycles. Riding Yo. motorcycles. <laughs> you know, it's great. We uh, came through that gorge right there, and that thing was just a big slice, red rock. It was really beautiful, and it just opened up into this vast valley of uh, the Navajo Nation. Beautiful, beautiful. Yep, gotta love that red rock. We uh, took some of the camera toys out to play to capture some of that. That's always a good time. Uh, looks like we're only about 55 miles from Jacob Lake, so I think we might head that direction after checking out the Vermilion Cliffs. Yeah, there's the uh, bridge. It's a walking bridge that we're going to stop at first. Okay. Uh, right at Marble Canyon. That's really the start of the Grand Canyon, actually. So Glen Canyon runs into Marble and, and uh, down into the Grand Canyon. Beautiful. Yeah, and it's, it's a good stop. If you're on this road and you can get to Marble Canyon and go to, like, Lee's Ferry, that's really beautiful, but I want to get on that walking bridge and check out the uh, California condors. Absolutely. It's a little bit of changes, not scenery for us, but a little bit of change of weather because we're used to running through here during the summer and uh, that 35, 40 degree water at Lee's Ferry sounds pretty good. Probably not right now. No, yeah. not, not sitting at 55 degrees. No, no, no. Yeah. But hey, this is uh, gonna be a great run through here. We get some riding in. We'll get back into Page later tonight. Check out a local restaurant there, do a review. But it's always great just to get out and see the open country and the ride. And this Red Rock, it never gets old. It's just beautiful. Yeah, it's amazing. I'm having fun. It's uh, Sunday. We are uh, ripping down the highway and let's just have some fun, guys. Absolutely. Definitely digging. I've uh, been able to spend a week here and just kind of do some different types of exploring every day. So we'll see him at the Vermilion Cliffs and uh, let the road go on. Down that road. Yeah, down that road. <laughs> I gotta tell you, we've been on this uh, 89A, I don't know how many times, we've even brought the young guns through here. Right. And we've always seen this bridge, had no idea what's going on. This is a Navajo bridge. It's now a walking bridge. They built another bridge across the way. And there's California condors all over the place. Right, I mean, that that's really interesting to see, but <laughs> they had to build a new bridge because this bridge is really old and it's really not that wide. So to support the traffic, they had to go upgrade. Well, this was built in 1929, and, and prior to that, the only way you could get across from Utah to Arizona, we'll go there, but five miles up is Lee's Ferry. It's where we took the young guns and we jumped in the water as well. Right, right, right. So, I mean, and this is a cool spot for me to be because I've been here three times down at Lee's Ferry, getting on a raft and doing a river trip down this canyon, which is spectacular. So. I love this place here. This lasted until 1995, until they built the other bridge. Wow. And it's one of a, a few bridges that are still standing today that has a dual bridge next to it that are both about the same height. Upstream from us here is the Glen Canyon Dam, and below that, between us and the dam, is Lee's Ferry. And it's what? The starting of what? The Grand Canyon. Hell yeah, which we love. <laughs> yes, we do. So, well, hey, let's get to the Vermilion Cliffs. Uh, maybe we can get a shot. I don't know, Josh, maybe I've got a couple of the condors. But I think we're going to go to Lee's Ferry first. We can do that. We and did then, say that, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, well, get out and explore just like we're doing and find new things. Hey, you might be in Arizona looking at California condors. So before we head out to Lee's Ferry, one of the fun things we get to do is meet new people. So who are we talking to here? So my name is CJ, and I actually work with the Peregrine Fund out here. And what do you have to do out here with the Paragon Front? So I actually work with the uh, Condor Field Crew and we I'm out here monitoring and studying the 117 condors that we have out here in our population. So how come there's California condors here in Arizona? 
So they actually were extinct out here in the 80s and it wasn't until uh, 96 that we released the first four birds into the population out here. So since then, we release new birds every year and we're getting more and more wild hatched chicks, uh, just like the bird that we have out here hanging out in his nest still. Um, and we've also released uh, nine new birds into the population just in the past couple of months. So there's 117, mm -hmm. and I guess this area is an area that they like? Uh, yeah, it's actually great for them because we have all the cliffs around here. Um, there's great places for them to roost at night uh, to get away from any possible predators, um, and lots of caves in all of the walls for all of the uh, wild hatch nests. So I notice you have a, a tip box here. Um, <laughs> yes. If people want to donate to the fund, where would they do that? The peregrinefund.org, I believe it is. Um, we also have a Condor Cliffs Facebook and Instagram page where you can find more stuff. And that is um, posted, everything on there is posted by us biologists and approved by our um, head of the project. So it's all accurate information that's posted on those sites. Well, thanks for taking the time and people get out here and watch these condors soar, right? Yep, there. <laughs> so, hey, I mean, if you stay home, you're never going to see it. No. Nope. <laughs> so, hey, we'll see, see you down ferry. the road. Wow, it, it never ends, right? The fate <laughs> happens. We got some guys pulling in on some Eagle Riders, and they're from New York. Yep. And what do the, we have here? And the first thing he said is, I was watching I was you on the plane. I watching you guys on a plane. <laughs> it's the crazy part. So, you guys actually inspired me to do rides like this as Is well. that right? Yep, yep. So, yep. we have Jay and Jim. Correct. Uh, how's the ride so far, and where are you headed? Ride is great. We're headed from up to Zion Park. Okay. Yep. Zion, you're going to love it as you go through there. Take your time. Watch for other cars, but you'll see, you can potentially see bighorn sheep, and the, the cliffs are going to be right next to you and be amazing. Have you, you been out west before? Uh, well, California, I ride a lot. This will be my Pacific first time Highway. Right His first time yeah. out here. Awesome. And, and how long's the trip? Uh, so we did Friday till Monday. Friday okay. Monday, yeah. yep. And then back on the plane? Back on the plane, yep, back, back to work. Plane, yep. Now, okay. have you? do you know that there's California condors here? Do not okay. know that. Okay, know you're going to walk out on this bridge and you're going to meet some great people out there, CJ. Okay. And they're going to let you see California condors hanging out on the cliffs. There's a, a young nesting person, a person, bird, <laughs> 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 that, that are just waiting for that bird to take off and fly. First so, flight. So where did you guys get these bikes? Uh, Eagle Rider in Vegas. Vegas? Vegas. Yep. All right. Wow, that's very cool. Yeah, well, we appreciate the support. Oh, and definitely. can we do a see you down the road? Is that okay? Absolutely. So, Let's three, two, one, and then we'll do it. Okay. So, Whatever three, point. two, we'll go towards Josh. Okay, yeah. gotcha. <laughs> three, two, one, see, see you down, down the road. road. <laughs> Lee's Ferry, a lot of water here, crystal clear with, you were just pointing out the trout floating around in here. Yeah, I was just thinking yesterday we were sitting at Lake Powell <laughs> and the reverence and silence of the quiet water and then the energy of this river because down below us we can hear the rapids just ripping it up. I remember years ago putting a raft in here and floating through the Grand Canyon and you'd get into some rapids pretty quickly. They were easy mellow ones but yeah. they were long and fun and we came here with the boys, so we were on the way to Sturgis. We stopped here, and we all went swimming. It was cold. It's Well, this, this river runs constantly at 47 degrees. But interesting, as we were walking down the bridge, I said, do you hear those rapids? And you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're in it. But from Lee's Ferry, it's 15 miles upriver to the, to the dam. And then from here south, downriver, it's 277 miles that you can float. Right, and I floated all of it. Already in half a day, we've seen so many great things. We're not done yet, but uh, this is awesome. So we get off the bridge, some guys pull in. Yeah. They're on Eagle Rider bikes, and the guy goes, hey. I was watching you on the plane. And, and we got to talk to him, and I, I know you guys already saw that part of it, but. Yeah, Jay and Jim from New York, <laughs> you know, out, out in the middle of nowhere. But hey, I saw a sign up there, it's called the Cliff Dwellers. So maybe we'll try that next. So if you get a chance and you're on the road out here, Lee's Ferry, this is the actual put-in for the Grand Canyon whitewater trips. You can see rafts over there behind us getting, to, getting all loaded up and ready to go. So funny things happen and we met the chief of police in Page, Arizona, and he's on his way down here now to meet us because he wanted to buy us lunch today. 
Yeah, Tim and Ann are on their way. They said they're 20 minutes out. That was 10 minutes ago. So <laughs> hopefully they'll get here because we need to get rolling. Boom. And look who showed up. The police chief. <laughs> they're not in uniform today, though. Well, they both work for the police department. <laughs> yes. Yes. But they don't look like it today. No. <laughs> no. No. We're, we're, we're incognito today. So we're going to go for a little ride. Uh, if you look behind us, there's the Vermilion Cliffs. Uh, we're going to kind of cruise through there and, and have some lunch. So you were saying there's wild animals, goats, uh, sheep, all sorts of... Yeah. What's, what's uh, kind of the habitat up there? There's, there's bighorn sheep. You, you can see them once in a while if you look. I mean, they'll be up on, on top. There's, there's some deer. When I've been down here on the river, I've seen deer down here. I've seen antelope down here. Um, California condors, people come from all over to, to check them out. They're, they fly around down there by Navajo Bridge. We okay. got to see those guys, so that was cool. And what, what are you thinking for lunch? I'm thinking cliff dwellers. Really? Yeah. So we're going to try that out? Yeah. Good well, how are we getting yeah. there? What bikes are you on? I'm on my 2016 Victory Cross Country right now. I also have a 2021 Indian Challenger at home. That one's that one's uh, resting right now. And, and yeah. I have an 06 uh, Victory Kingpin. Well, let's go rip those roads and get up to lunch. Yeah, let's do it, man. Boom. Down the road. amazing it's like we're in goblinville right <laughs> it's very peaceful out here though it's it is. really like mellow so this is called the under my umbrella and you know what has happened is millions of years ago the rock fell from up above us and hit the ground so hard that it compacted the dirt so while it's not the dirt is not as strong as the rock over the years it's been eaten away by the elements the wind the rain so it's created these pedestals on, and throughout this whole area here, you'll see different shapes and sizes. It's just, it's like we're on the moon somewhere. And it's ever changing. One day, some of this stuff won't be sitting here. Some of these rocks will be gone onto the ground and the, the pedestal will no longer be holding them up. Well, it looks like over here, maybe one went away. Yeah, exactly. You know? I mean, so, we're kind of on Mars right now. It's crazy, but we, we've ridden by this a couple times and we've never stopped. We had to stop and show people. Yeah. Great photo opportunity. Come out, check this place out. We're gonna head head over to the cave dwellers in a minute here. What do you have? Well, I mean, the Vermilion Cliffs are all along this ridge here, and they're they're really a thing of beauty. And and I guess the cliff that dwellers is buildings, and there's a restaurant there. That's right. We're gonna go check it out. All right, let's do it. Down. So here we are, the cliff dwellers, right? And it's funny because the last 24 hours, we've made, I think, some best friends because they're now with us everywhere we go. <laughs> so it's interesting. We were talking at Lee's Ferry and found out that you're a Navajo native. Yes. Um, and we thought it'd be interesting for you just to share a little bit about your story, who sure. you are, where you grew up, and the family and your native tongue. Sure. She and Ling and She. So you just talked about your family members there. I just talked about um, my clan, which um, we introduce ourselves with our mother, then our father, and then our uh, grandfather, and our um, paternal grandfather. So. That's how we relate to one another here. But I started writing with uh, Tim. Uh, he introduced me to this lifestyle. I love it. It's uh, amazing being in law enforcement. This is, this is you know, what we do in our free time. That's awesome. So, so you have some really cool patches on yes. your vest. What is this one? This is the Navajo Hopi Honor Riders. We're part of this group, Tim and I, my sister, along with some um, other friends. And um, basically, we honor 
veterans, former, current, coming home. We do funeral escorts. Um, law enforcement. Law enforcement. Fire. And fire. It's a great organization. I see a, yes. I see a beautiful one here, the great seal of the Navajo Nation. Yes, that, that is our seal of Navajo Nation. Well, we appreciate you talking a little bit about your family and the introduction. That's very special for us. As I was telling you earlier, sometimes we look at our history from Wikipedia, and it doesn't always document indigenous right. people. And so we've committed to try to do a better job of that as well, because we know people inhabit the lands, and, and we know the stories. And so we're trying to make sure that we incorporate those that we came before us. Yes. The, the only other thing I'll say is when we started, I've been riding almost my whole life and uh, I threw her on the back one time and right away she wanted her own bike and uh, her sister rides. There's a gal named Jerry, she's the caretaker of the Code Talker flag. Uh, her sister and, and Jerry on their way back from San Diego right now, they were at a function over there, but uh, a lot, lot of good riding. It's just a lot of good people. Well, and that's what we think. Motorcycles have brought us together, brought us together, and we meet all these great people across the country, including the two of you. Yeah. Awesome and stuff. We, yeah, we appreciate it. I'm we're kind of hungry. A, yeah, we're having yeah. a great day, and I know we're all hungry, so let's go eat. Let's three, two, one, down the road. Yep. Three, well, two, one, down, down the road. road. I feel like I've said this two or three times today. We've driven by places that we haven't stopped at. And Tim brought us to the Cliff uh, Dwellers Lodge for lunch. And I gotta tell you, those wings were incredible. I mean, this food looks great. What a great time with great people. Yeah, and you know what? We're sitting here with a no window and we're looking out over this beautiful landscape. So nothing can be better than this, right? Nothing. Warren's a great cook. We eat here quite a bit. Uh, it's in our backyard from Paige. And uh, we've been wanting to bring you guys here if we ever ran into you. And, and uh, if you didn't volunteer, we were going to handcuff you and bring you down here. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, we learn a lot on these trips because usually we're blasting through and we're showing you history and we're riding really and we're having this great time. But every once in a while, we do trips like this where we kind of hang out. You get to meet people and really get involved in the community. Community, culture, the whole nine yards. So Let, We should eat. We should eat. We've got a couple Cobb salads here. We've got a plate of French fries. Had to have that. You got the patty melt, right? I went for the patty melt. And uh, Josh went for the Reuben. I went for a ham on sourdough sandwich. So, And we heard the potato salads, homemade and killer. We got it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's eat. Let's eat. Wow, that was really a good lunch. We're nice and full. We're gonna hit the road. They're gonna go left, we're gonna go right. But thank you guys so much for uh, buying us lunch and hanging out with us. Hey, well, we appreciate it. And you know, sincerely, thanks for uh, letting us be part of what you guys do. It's an honor, appreciate well, it. Well, you just said this is kind of your secret spot and I can tell why. The food's great, company's great, and Warren is a character. Yeah, yeah. he is, he is. Point so seven. we have some new friends in Page, Arizona. And, uh, hey, life's good. Thanks. Well, let's do a see you down the road yep. again. Sir? Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there's Warren right there. Thanks, Warren. That's Thanks. our character. Great stuff. Great stuff. Yep. I'd love to see you again real soon. You know where we are. Yep. Great food, man. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for stopping in. Really, I really it. appreciate it. Thanks, see you soon. All right. Three, two, one. See you see down you the road. road. Well, what a fantastic ride today. I didn't think we were going to get that much in, but we did. And we saw some things we've never seen before. Yeah. The condors, incredible, right? Yeah, that I didn't even know existed there. I mean, we see the con. We went to like four spots. They were really great. Um, what a good time. You know, we're sitting here right now. And it seems like in every city we've been in in the last couple months, these chairs are there. I'm, I'm telling you, we you walked know? in and we're like, are we in... 
uh, Glenwood, <laughs> you know, Springs, Colorado. Are we in the place in Kentucky that Leticia took us to? Right. They all have these really cool, colorful art chairs. But, but anyway. But we met some great people today that uh, new fans to the show, fans that already followed us, which was great. Uh, we met some people from Canada this morning that said they went to El Tapatio last night and the food was fantastic. Well, you know what I what I take out of that is when we were on the Navajo Bridge, there was a few different groups of people that were like so excited to hear about the channel and they wanted to, to follow it. And I'm like, that's great stuff. Well, they how, how can you not be excited when we're trying to showcase these small towns in America yeah. and... and meet great people in these towns right so well, you got to do it so what, what's for dinner uh what'd you get i got a carne asada taco i got a side of rice i've been eating chips i got a dos Equis. i got a fufu uh tostada chicken tostada uh josh got the looks really good chicken quesadilla and uh yeah we've all had some chips a couple be- beers and uh beers and uh you know we'll go from there you know what Josh is going to eat that whole quesadilla, no problem. All right, <laughs> well, let's, let's get eat. eating. What a great day. Great people. Great food. Good time. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, and actually, we have a lot more of this coming. Uh, we, we're going to interview some restaurateurs, some more business owners. I mean, it's going to be a, it's going to be a jam-packed series here. And there's a reason for you to come visit Paige. After you see this whole series, you're going to want to be here. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. I mean, we're here and we're having a good time. Yes, so we are. You're going to love it. And we hope that this this stuff will help you want to come here. So what do they need to do? They did it already. They did? Yes, they, they did. They subscribed? Yeah, because I said it in the very beginning. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> so come visit Paige. We're glad that we did and you won't regret it. See you down the road.